Lesson 1-5. Turn up the volume because we're going to talk about volume. No, not this volume. We're going to talk about the measurement of volume. Just like perimeter and area, volume is a way to measure objects. Perimeter measures the outer edge of a 2D object. Area measures the space inside of a 2D object. Instead of measuring flat two-dimensional things like perimeter, perimeter and area, volume is a way to measure how much space a 3D object takes up. Volume measures how much space a 3D object takes up. Here's a good way to think of it. Let's say you work in a business and you measured the area of a flat piece of paper. But then your boss comes in and places a huge stack of papers on your desk. That would be this one. Pretend this is a bunch of papers stacked up. Instead of finding the area, now you have to find the volume to see how much space that stack takes up on your desk. It's no longer just a flat piece of paper. It's a huge stack that has thickness or height. Volume is the measure of how much space a 3D object takes up. Remember that. How can we know if something has volume? Well, let's take a look at some two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects. Two-dimensional objects are flat and only have two dimensions. They only have the dimensions of length and width. They don't have any height to them. So take a look at these 2D objects with me. The first one is a blue square. It's nice and flat, just like these other shapes. These are all flat shapes. The rectangle, oval, and triangle. The sign, if you would lay it down, it also is a flat two-dimensional surface. The whiteboard or chalkboard in our classroom is a nice flat surface. So that is also two-dimensional two object. And then we have the drawings of a life raft, glasses, and a house. Drawings are also two-dimensional because they're done on paper. Three-dimensional objects aren't flat, and they have three dimensions. They have length, width, and height. Think of a 2D object as a regular movie in the theater. It's a nice and flat screen. And 3D are those movies where you have to wear the glasses and it looks like the movie screen is popping out at you. That's what 3D objects do. They aren't just flat. Let's look at these 3D objects together. We have a pan. You probably see those in your kitchen. It has height to it. It doesn't just sit flat on the stove. It comes up off the stove. That's 3D. Then we have the drum. That's also 3D. And then a can of Coca-Cola. And a birthday hat. These are all three-dimensional not flat objects. Now that we know more about 2D and 3D objects, help me figure out which of these items we could find the volume of. Remember, volume is the measure of how much space a 3D object takes up. So the first one, we have a wiggly line. Does that have is that a 3D object? Does that have volume to it? What about the trash can? The third one is a drawing of a truck. Hmm, does that have volume? Fourth, we have a, the top of a desk. That surface, the top. Fifth is a coffee mug. And the last one is a box of Rice Krispies. I'm going to give you a second to think of which ones have volume. 
Remember, it needs to be a 3D object in order to have volume. The trash can, the coffee mug, and the cereal box are the three that have volume. A wiggly line, a drawing of a truck, and the top of a desk are all flat 2D surfaces. Challenge question. Miss B has two cans of soup. They are the same exact can of soup, except the right one is empty. She already ate it. The left one is still sealed and closed and full of soup. Which can has more volume? Do you think it's the one full of soup? Well, think about this. If she put the empty can of soup back in the cupboard, would it take up less space than the full one? No, they take up the same amount of space. And what's volume again? A measurement of how much space something takes up. So the answer to this question is neither. The two cans have the same volume, even though one is full and one is empty. Thinking about that, make a prediction. I have two half sheets of paper, but I roll one hamburger style, the short way, and I mark this one A. Then the other half sheet I roll hot dog style, the long way, and I mark this one B. A makes a short fat cylinder and B makes a long skinny cylinder. Which cylinder do you think will have more volume? Keep your prediction in mind and you'll find out the answer with me during small group. I hope you're starting to get all this volume stuff. Now I'd like you to work on page 14 math boxes in your workbooks. If you finish that, you may begin tonight's homework or free read.